Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video we're gonna have a look at the new Nisi True Color Variable ND Filter. Will the colors lie to us? <laughs> Probably not. A good quality variable ND filter can make our life much easier if we need to film footage as fast as possible, but most of the time this type of filters can give us a lot of troubles during the color grading process of our footage, because almost every variable ND filters that are in the market can introduce some color cast to our footage, and this color cast has to be fixed in every clip we filmed before the final delivery. This is the price we have to pay if we don't have enough time to swap our fixed ND filters to get the best image quality possible. But luckily for us, Nisi fixed this problem with the latest variable ND filter they developed, the Nisi True Color variable ND filter. If you're asking yourself if this is a perfect filter for you, by the end of the video you'll be able to judge this filter yourself. But if you don't have much time to watch the full review, let me tell you that in my opinion this is the best variable ND filter that is available in the market until now. And I'm not saying it because Nisi was kind enough to send me a free unit to make this video review possible, but I'm telling you because it's the truth. I've tested pretty much all the variable ND filters available in the market and I'm confident enough to say that this is the best one. Now talking about the performances of the filter, is this filter color cast free? Yes, it is. It's almost 100% color cast free. There is just a tiny drop of red tint that is not really relevant to talk about it because it's so minimal that doesn't really change much in our final footage. In the test I've been running during the past weeks, I didn't notice any problem with this filter. The vignetting is pretty much non-existing when I use the filter with my ultra wide angle lens. The blue of the sky is always rich and there is no color shift. The glass has a very good anti-reflecting coating to avoid the ghosting and reflections. The filter doesn't alterate the contrast levels and the acutance of the lens you're using. And the range of the ND filtration is very good. One stop ND is very handy if you're filming indoor or if you're taking both photos and videos because you don't have to remove the filter at all. The build construction of the filter is phenomenal. The outer ring is extremely smooth and silent when you change the ND filtration. You can hear it actually here. So really quiet and smooth. This filter comes with a removable pin that can make your life much easier if you're gonna work with gloves because the grip of the outer ring is a little bit thin but it's uh, good enough and I don't know if you ever filmed outdoor with the snow and you need to wear your gloves this uh, pin can really make your life easier. The glass of the filter is water and dirt repellent, so it will be easy to clean it on the go. The size of the filter is a bit big, but at the same time it's lightweight. I personally like the combination of silver and black color because it looks pretty minimalist and the marks on the filter can be read easily. The filter has also hard stops to avoid the problem of the black X pattern, like all the latest variable ND filters that we are seeing in the market. The filter is coming with some nice extras in the box. There is a textile pouch that has a nice look and feel, but there is also an hard plastic case included. So you can choose what you like to use the most. Obviously you don't need to use them both at the same time. The filter comes with a nice protective cup, but if you leave the pin attached, you're gonna have the problems that the cap doesn't really stick perfectly. In my case I made a really small cut in the plastic so I can fit the filter properly without the need of uh, removing the pin every time. And now we are gonna do a polarization test because it is important to consider how the filter behaves when we move around while filming ourselves. In this case I'm testing the variable ND filter with the ND1 so with the minimum amount of uh, light filtration and it's doing a fairly good job and now I'm testing the variable ND filter with the intensity of 5 so the maximum ND filtration this filter can handle and as we can see there is a tiny bit of polarization but it's not that bad it's totally usable and this is uh, why this filter is so great all in all, I consider this variable ND filter the best one in the market. Obviously, you don't have to replace a variable ND filter every time a new one is coming out in the market, but in case you broke your previous variable ND filter or you're starting now 
your career as a videographer, I can easily recommend you this variable ND filter as the ultimate solution. In case you are wondering what's the price of this variable ND filter, I will leave the link in the description because it depends from where you live and what size of the filter you need. And if you have any question about the filter, please feel free to ask it in the comment area below. I'll be really happy to solve your questions. So this is it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!